In this session of HFBS training we will show you how to create a project. First log in to the HFBS website using your u new username. Enter your password and press login. And you arrive at the home page of the HFBS. Now go to data and select new project and a pop-up will appear. Now simply fill in all the details. Project code, that's a code that you create and that can be alphanumeric. Give it a project name and give it a milestone. Now, date of creation, select the calendar to put in a date, put in an issue number and for issue date select the calendar again and select the right date and then press proceed on the bottom right and you'll be taken to another pop-up screen to the e-commerce arrangements. Now you have two options here, you can start a three day free trial or you can go straight to pay for a new subscription. I'll select the start of three-day free trial but I recommend that you go to the home page and read up pricing policy for the subscription details. Now all you need to do is press proceed. It will tell you that your subscription has been successful and press OK. And your new project is created. You're now ready to start work. You can also edit the project details on this page. Simply scroll down to the text boxes. You can edit the project code. You can change the project name just by typing into that box. You can change the project milestone name. You can add a project stage, for example stage 1 or stage 2. You can put in a project address. Now this is the address of the site. Put in a project service zone. Now that might be the planning area or the area that you're in. Put in a project director's name and a manager's name and specialist facility planner. Now this field is important because it prints on every page. Put in an architect's name. RDL stands for role delineation level. Now there's a guideline on role delineation level that I recommend it, that you read. There is a grading from 1 to 6 for health facilities depending on how complex they are. So we will select an RDL4 for this. Now if you want to add a travel and engineering percent to your gross totals you can select from one of these preset percentages or you could leave it on 0% as not applicable or 0% measured off design. Now if you're choosing the measured off design option you need to create a department called travel and engineering and measure every corridor lift wells, stairwells and plant rooms and put those measured figures into that department. But we will choose a four-storey building and it defaults to a 28%. But you can overrule that. You can put in your own percentage. The operational policy section is a report writer. Simply click the expand button and you can copy paste from Word into this. You could copy paste a brief in here date of creation, issue number and issue date will all default to the first time that project is created. We recommend you leave it on the first date for date of creation so you always know when that project was created. Issue number and issue date can be set on each report so you don't need to come back to this page to reset them. Anything you change in the top sections you need to press the save button on the bottom right. As we further go down we can archive this project and if we press the archive button it will always prompt us, are you sure? We won't archive this at this point. You can restore archives simply by pressing the restore archive button, drop down the list, find the project that you've um, archived and just press the restore button and it will come straight back. You can delete the project 
and you will always get a prompt. Are you sure you want to delete this project? We won't delete it, but if you're a double clicker, be very careful. And right at the bottom is a reference section. We can compare our project to another project, but we can also do this on the report. So I'll show you that again on the reports. Once you've edited your page, you're ready to progress.